Welcome back everybody. It's time for Malligator Mom's Midweek Meltdowns. It's that time of the week where I tell you what I really think. <laughs> Alright guys, it is Wednesday, which means that I have officially earned my right to my midweek meltdown. And today I have kind of an interesting subject. It might push some of your buttons. I'm not sure. I would definitely be interested to know after you've watched this what you think about what I had to say today. Um, but I'm going to just jump right into it. So here it goes. I get a lot of messages from people who have training questions. And these are typically very lengthy messages. And this can be through my website, through Instagram, Facebook, you know, here on YouTube, whatever. They'll have these really lengthy messages and then want my advice. Like, how do I fix this behavior with my dog? What do you think I should do? Give me some tips, whatever. Um, and I don't respond to those. And I'm kind of worried that maybe I've alienated some people or discourage them from following me or um, supporting my, my efforts. But I, I don't answer those for a really good reason. And I felt like this would be a great opportunity for me to explain why I don't respond to those types of questions. Um, so here goes. I think it would be incredibly presumptuous of me, who one is not a certified trainer, but two, um, has had no physical interaction with your dog to just assume that based on, you know, 50 words of text that I could just swoop in and solve your problems for you, that I would just have this answer or this insight that I could provide you that would just fix your problem for you. Um, I actually think is, is a really unethical thing to do because because you could really mess up a dog if you don't know what really is going on. And you cannot, and, and make no mistake about this, you cannot assess that unless you have eyes on the dog. So I just find it unethical to give that kind of advice online because I think it will do harm to the dog and that is never going to be my intention. And so I stay away from those kinds of conversations. And if you're paying attention to other really big trainers out there, like on Instagram or YouTube or what have you, they are not responding to these training questions online. What they're telling you is you need to get your dog to a professional trainer. You need to have a professional trainer put eyes on your dog, provide an assessment, and then give you the tools and the insight that, that only a, a hands-on in-person assessment could possibly provide you. So I'm assuming that if you're watching this channel, you probably have a high drive dog, like a Malinois or a Dutchie or a German Shepherd or what have you. That's probably why you're here. So you had to have assumed that at some point you were going to need the help of a professional. And if you got into these dogs, without that understanding, then you might very well be in way over your head. Because to assume that these creatures can just be fixed through reaching out to a trainer online with just a quick answer or solution is wrong. You're just dead, dead wrong. So social media is not the medium that is going to provide you with a fix for your dog. It's not. It's not going to be the replacement to an in-person trainer. And any trainer who is providing you advice online for some in-depth behavior problem is an unethical piece of crap, in my opinion. And you can tell them I said so. I think that's super crappy. Um, you know, you, you have to consider the fact that if you reached out with this same question to five different trainers online, you'd probably get five different answers. You know, <laughs> It's just, it's just not a good idea to put stock into an assessment of your dog from someone who's never even seen the whites of your dog's eyes, who's never existed in the same room with your dog, who has no idea all of the detail and nuance that's involved around the behavior that you're having a problem with because that is the secret 
to solving those behaviors. And that is not something that can be communicated through the medium of text. It just isn't. So, you know, stop being a lazy dog owner. Stop looking for answers on the internet to complex behaviors. Um, you really need to just understand that the best route for you and your dog is going to be hiring a professional trainer. And the longer you wait to come to this realization, the longer you wait to accept the fact that you're just gonna have to come out of the pocket and pay a little money and spend a little time and invest in your relationship with your dog, the longer you wait, the worse the behavior is gonna get, the longer it's gonna take to fix it. And so again, don't reach out to people on social media with these big long questions about your dog and try to get an answer. This is just not the medium for that. So um, that's my thoughts. I hope you guys understand. Again, um, this is just, I guess, one of those things that sent me today to this place in my mind because I woke up to two more pretty lengthy messages just this morning on Instagram of people asking me these really long in-depth questions about some dog behavior. And it's like, I can't possibly begin to answer that. And not only that, but you know, there's also like this assumption that you've spent, you know, 15 or 20 minutes typing out this big long question to assume that that a professional trainer is going to take the same amount of time out of their day to respond to you and just give away their their craft and their skill for free by answering these in-depth questions um, is just a shitty presumption of you to make as a person. So do better. Do better by yourself. Do better by your dog. The best way to get ahead of any behavior problems with your dog is to start training right away and build a solid foundation in obedience. This will provide your dog the clearest picture of expectations from day one. There's obviously a big difference in seeking out online resources or visual aids concerning basic obedience and trying to overcome a complex behavior issue with your dog. A great online resource is robertcabral.com. I recommend starting out with his basic foundations course and working up from there. This should never take the place of working with a professional, but online guides used in conjunction with in-person training will provide you the surest path to success. So visit robertcabral.com today and use code MALLIGATORMOM to save 10%.